I, of course, used to live in the Bay Area where I'm from. And I was really excited when she decided to move back here. I was even more psyched when I found out that she became the president of the local chapter. And our S uh, is the initials for my two boys, Brian and Regan Shi. I came to this country when I was 16 uh, to Los Angeles. And, and been a diehard Lincoln fan ever since. And this is a man that I and admire. So I, I thought about it. I thought the best way to pay tribute to this man is to carry on some of his legacy. A lot of you guys may know that he's very passionate about giving back to the community. And he's especially passionate about the specific organization, Jesse Moore. Uh, which is a local uh, nonprofit right here in Irvine, uh, California, and we support kids fighting cancer. Um, I had the distinct pleasure of meeting Kobe uh, several times, who uh, found a place um, through his daughter, Gigi, um, who came to our foundation as a Girl Scout and took a tour and went home and said, Dad, you have got to come and be involved in what the Jesse Reeves Foundation does. Uh, through sweet little Gigi, who would come into our foundation, um, she would come in and spend about four hours, sometimes at a time, along with her bodyguard, um, and stuff what we call Jesse's Joy Jars. These jars, um, so when you see this video, I want you to have the mindset, because when Kobe came into the foundation, he was in there a couple times, his heart was so tender and very giving, like Steve said. Um, truly, a hidden soldier, he could not watch it. He actually had to walk away because he knew the dad. He never imagined losing a child who's who's diagnosed with cancer. So I would drive up to the Children's Hospital of Orange County. She would go into radiation, and radiation was hard. But she never once complained. About two weeks into the treatment plan, we were getting in the car and driving out of the parking garage there. Jesse was sitting in the back seat, and my wife Stacy was next to me. Jesse said, Mom, Dad, when do all the other kids come home? And so I remember pointing at the third floor of Children's Hospital of Orange County. I said, Honey, there's lots and lots of kids that actually have a different treatment plan, and they spend days and days and months, and unfortunately, some spend years in their treatment there. The next words that she said have literally changed her life because she's like, Then how can we help them? And it was like, what did you just say? And I remember looking at my wife because she's fanning her eyes, trying not to cry because our, our whole family is being torn apart. We're, we're in chaos. And Jesse's saying, let's help the other kids. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? This is Kobe Bryant. And I hear you have a super courageous family and a super strong kid. And I just want to remind you to never, ever, so you can imagine a child fighting cancer all of a sudden gets on their phone that morning and here's there's Mr. Bryant wishing them and telling them to never ever give up. Against the world. The cool thing about the app was that the kids could actually message him back. Um, and so there was this interaction between um, him and these courageous kids. So I love that. This here is um, Eric Reese. He's Jesse's dad. He is our CEO, so this is a picture of him at the Joy Factory with Kobe. Um, he did take the time to autograph Jesse's Joy Jar boxes that were stuffed by him. He stuffed about 12 of them um, with messages of encouragement and I call it Mama Love. I have one of those boxes right here um, that I brought with me in one of the jars that he stuffed. And imagine that there's a Laker toy uh, that he was able to find and stuff inside. That's the actual autograph box by Kobe? Yeah, yes, so oh. this is one of the boxes. We were very particular um, of who got those um, boxes because they needed to be basketball fans, number one. And um, we find out about what these kids like, so we want to make sure and create an amazing experience, you can imagine. Inside every box that got sent uh, was a letter to the courageous family so they understood that this was authentic and there was this same picture here so they could see that Kobe was in our foundation and actually signed it for them. And then here's one of the boxes. Everything was a little bit different. Uh, no, 
no two boxes have the same um, verbiage. Um, I actually got to sit there and have him sign it. I kept giving him <laughs> pens, and you know, and he loved it. He loved it so much. This one says, "Best wishes, made with love from the book 24." He never signed anything number eight. Just so you know. <laughs> These are just some of the pictures of the boxes. We lined them up with all the, the joy jars that he stuffed. Um, he had a very funny way of putting interesting toys in there. Uh, one of my funny stories is he loves these angry birds. Have you seen them? So it's usually the rule is one toy, but lots of different toys. Well, he had four angry birds inside the joy jar, and I'm like, Kobe, you're kind of breaking the rules here. You know, it's a hard thing to tell Kobe because he's like this big. <laughs> and um, he said, no, 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 you got it all wrong. The birds need somebody to play with. So you had mm. four birds in there. So I'm like, okay, makes sense to me. <laughs> Only a dad with young kids would understand Absolutely. that, right? Okay. So this is one of the children. This is <coughs> Will, who lives in Texas. He was one of the recipients of Kobe's joy jars. Um, we are still in contact with Will. Um, he has osteosarcoma. Um, unfortunately, he lost his leg, so you can see he has amputated leg above the knee. But his smile was so big when he got in this jar, and they took the time to photograph it and um, just put it up on social media and send it back to us. Um, we actually sent it to Kobe to let him know the impact of what his little signature did for these kids. So, um, love it. So the story gets even better because when Kobe saw Will's picture, when he came back into the Joy Factory, he we gave him a picture of it and Kobe wrote on the picture and he said to Will, your smile is priceless. We love as always, Kobe24. Um, so we took a picture of him actually signing it. We sent it to Will at back in Texas. And of course he has this whole memorial wall as you can imagine of all this Kobe, Kobe stuff. So here's the Mamba, Mamba Sports Academy. These are the girls. Uh, some of them are no longer here, unfortunately, um, and lost their lives in that terrible helicopter crash. Um, but they would come in and stuff joy jars. So right here, I don't know if you can see in the middle, it's like, super like there's a blanket. That's actually Gigi. And so funny story is when um, they were stuffing jars, they were very competitive, as you can imagine, because they are sports teams. Um, they stuffed the jars and then they had a contest who had the best jar because they had to be creative. And Cody didn't know what Cody was going to vote. Well, it ended up he picked his own daughter's jar as being the best jar, uh, unbeknownst to all of us. So it was kind of a sweet story. So we gave her a special Navy blanket because she won. Um, but as you can see, it was a wonderful time. This, uh, there are some volunteers in here as well. Um, my husband's in there in the middle. He was having a great time. And Kobe and Eric Reese are at the top there. And so finally, to just kind of wrap it up, we do what we call an IBU Hands Challenge every year. It's usually in September, which is National Child Cancer Awareness Month. Um, and he was kind enough to write I need you on your hands, and then you take a photo, throw it up on social media, tag it, I need you to you. Kobe was kind enough to do that. Um, and we had almost a million people like his post, or close to 500, excuse me, 5,000 comments. That's, that's the post I saw. That's, that's the post you saw. 